Hi guys, Big Papa Timo. Special treat from you, for you on Escape the Pacific. I'm going to do a really, really quick one. I found something really cool. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, did it disappear? It did. I'm tired, I'm cold, but it's here. See if we can get some uh, some air real quick. Didn't think it was real. And of course, now I can't prove it because it disappeared. I'm gonna keep looking for it for a minute. I'm not even going to tell you what it is until we find it again. Oh, I need air. Don't worry, I did save recently. <laughs> Just in case. Not crazy, I swear. Okay, so the fish are swimming around like that. Oh man. Alright, need some more uh need some more air. Alright, where's the boat? It's very easy to get lost underwater. Very easy to get lost underwater. Right, let me find the boat again. There's the boat. Gotta stay close to the boat. Of course, I keep swimming right away from the boat. All right, maybe not. All right, so. Hmm. Maybe it's a timing thing. I'm very cold. Just got to get out of this water. All right, 
going to wait till sun up a little bit. Just a little bit, because I do need a little bit of light for this. All right, let's try this again. All right, there's the boat. There he is. Oh, oh, a live white shark. Oh my god. Not the best picture in the world. This thing scared the ever-loving crap out of me, guys. So they are in-game. <laughs> and they do not attack. But it's there. Now. If you stuck with me that long, stick with me a couple more minutes. Let's try something. Let's try and be stupid. I'm going to go get my knife. Just the knife. I doubt we'll be able to interact with it at all, but, um, you never know. All right. Knife in hand. Drop the rest of the tool belt. <laughs> Good try and be stupid. If any luck, it'll attack us. I'm trying to get the great white to attack me. I gotta find them again. Challenge completed. Diver. Level 2. I don't think I'm on the right side. You'd figure a big shark like that would be a little bit easier to see. But it's not. There he is. Come here, sharky. Nope, so you can't do anything with him. But that does say a live white shark. Pretty neat, guys. All right, got some uh, got some good shots of that one. Let me let me get back up to uh, let me get back up to the shore. Already gotten everything off the boat.
All right, in case you guys are wondering, I'm Big Papa Timo. We are playing Escape the Pacific. This was um, kind of a bonus feature. I really just wanted to do a, a quick scope out of the island because at the end of the last episode, the game crashed on me unexpectedly after just 25 minutes. But uh, I went out and I was I was just gathering everything up and I was going to start the next episode with just, you know, everything all sitting out here. I made some rope and stuff and I went out to go get these guys and I got scared to bejesus out of me by the great white shark. So we are going to grab hold of all of this lovely stuff and load it on here. Uh, because other than that, I mean, that's that's by far the most interesting thing about this particular island was the fact that it had a great white. Um, now, looking at my storage situation, might have to... make some more storage. Might have to make some more storage. I think we'll take care of that on the next island, though. So what I'm just going to do here is pick up all this stuff. I mean, I could, of course, just grab one of these crates and lash it down. That is always a possibility. That is always a possibility. So why don't we actually do that? And while we're at it, why don't we just take this one as well? Because we need to put... I don't think the bucket will fit in any of these. Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, I stand corrected. Alright, so there's nothing in this one. Grab this. Always want more barrels. Always want more barrels. All right, double check everything on the island real quick, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. There were some dead banana palms, one live banana, a bunch of palm trees that are not ready for fruit to drop. Uh, we do have a couple more pieces of hemp. Grab those while we're here. Now, I may have to do a minor redesign of the boat. Um, because I have been informed that the small planters will actually fit on the boat. So we could be farming on the boat. The only thing you have to do is you have to bring dirt with you. Bring the fertilizer. Alright, is that a... It is a papaya tree. Let's get rid of this oleander. This bush. Alright, got another hemp. I'm glad I took a look. When I ran through here before, it was still nighttime. 
I totally missed that there was hemp on the island. Alright. Good stuff. Now, the other thing that we did is I was looking for other islands, and there's two additional islands down south. Um, so I think we want to go to I next. That one right there. Thirsty, I'm hungry. I should take care of those problems. All right, we need to get we need to get some salt in our diet. And we need some vitamin C as well. All right, that'll do it for the food. Okay, so we want to go to, is it that one? That one. Of course it's that one. Hit a quick save. That was fun. The, the shark was fun. I'm excited about finding an actual great white in game. So the big question now is, of course, going to be how long before they institute that as an interactable creature and how are we going to interact with it? I would imagine we're going to need something like spears before we can. Spears would definitely be useful. And then I would also imagine that at that point in time, the bandages will finally have a use. Other than putting up on top of sticks for wind. And of course, the other question I have is, how often do the Great Whites appear? What I'm actually going to do is, since I have three other save files, one is in the second cluster as well, and the other two are still in first cluster, I'm going to start being a little bit more careful swimming around the wrecks. I'm going to swim further out and specifically look for them because with the sharks being on that loop like that, and they are rather hard to see from a distance, um, I had to be pretty close to them to see them. They blend in really, really well, as real great whites do, but... wonder if they're actually in the original cluster or the second cluster. And if they are, how have I missed them? I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't interact with him and he didn't eat me. I would have gladly accepted being eaten by a great white shark as my cause of death. If I'm going to go in this game, that's, that's how I want it to be. All right, this island looks kind of promising. You can see a lot of palm trees. I think I see banana palms in there too, but I'm not positive.
We have another shipwreck that we can check too, so we can check for another shark right off the bat. Yep, banana palms. Ooh, seas are getting rough. All right, I see tall grass as well. Not a very large island, but not a not a tiny island either. All right, got those down. Actually going to save right here. And that was Island E. So what I actually want to do on that, I'm going to name this Shark Island. Well, that's a good sign. Medium crate and tall grass. But before we do anything else, since this is the shark episode, let's go see if there's no shark. Yeah, there's a box there, and a box there, so it's a twofer. Sure enough, look at that. So this cluster has sharks. But see, you don't have to get very far away before they just disappear. That's awesome. All right, let me go get some air before I drown. So the great white shark is not a myth, which... So this gives me another conundrum. Makes me think that maybe the oysters are not a myth as well. But I've not found the oysters yet. But I have heard that they exist. All right, let's go get that other box. All right, so in the comments, guys, if you found sharks yourself, let me know. If you found the oysters, let me know. And if you found the oysters, tell me where. I would like to find them.
All right, let's get everything over here. And then I will go take a quick tour of the island. All grass. Oh, the palms are brown yet. Yeah. Whoop. Hoppa. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got some hemp. Papaya. Papaya. Dead banana palm. Got some ripe papayas. Okay, so there's at least three papaya on here. This island has a little bit of everything, so I think this is our current best contender for base camp. I think that is that is what I'm going to do. Clear out some of this stuff in the middle. It's actually a decent amount of dry grass here, too. All right, that's a papaya. That's a dead banana. Seems the other dead banana. I love it when the dead grass keeps you from whacking a bush. Like you could protect them. Alrighty. Where's my boat? There's the boat.
grass is highly protective of these bushes. All right, I'm going to try and leave the papayas. Well, I'm going to leave the papayas and try and leave the palm trees alone as well. Um, and just use the chaffleras and the oleanders for building materials. Not a big fan of the palm trunks, or the uh, banana palm trunks. Especially since they don't break down at anything. Alright, but that should be a pretty, pretty decent clearing for now. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I really do appreciate all love and support. It's been absolutely amazing as always. Thanks for surviving that non-existent shark attack with me. Hopefully I showed you something new in the game you hadn't seen before. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Those of you that are subscribing, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Doesn't cost you guys a thing. means the world to me. Hit that notification. Get notified every time Big Pop Team will post new content or goes live. Don't forget, guys. Till next time, go find your own damn islands.